Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Jay and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. And I'm going to listen to your voice recording. So you're practicing the R, the the L, and I think you're doing the flap uh, sound there. So let's listen to your pronunciation practice. Okay, here we go. Speak clearly lesson 18. Voice recording exercise number one. Number one. More than 36 years after he made history as the first American to orbit the Earth, Senator John H. Glenn Jr. will return to space as part of a multinational crew with the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery in late October. Okay. Two. Scientific endeavors on the STS-95 mission are not limited to furthering an understanding of the human body. Okay, let's say further, furthering there, so are not limited to furthering an understanding. But also will expand our understanding of the closest star to our planet, the sun, and how it affects life on Earth. Okay. Three. And take that word three. Three. Tendon is the large tendon located in the back of the leg that inserts into the heel. Okay. Four. Starting in the late 1970s, I developed techniques that integrated the experimental rigor of the laboratory with the what little was then known about pirate communication in nature. All right. Five. Although a few other species of birds move readily on the ground and some take off from the ground, no other species possess the extreme terrestrial agility and jumping ability. You take the word, it's agility. Agility and ability. So you're saying more agility. <coughs> you're saying agility or ability, but agility and ability. Of vampire bats. Be careful though with the V. Vampire bats. Okay, let's go to your next voice recording. And, and thank you for your hard work. You're doing a great job. Okay, here we go. Voice recording exercise number two. Got it. Muscular strength is the ability of the muscle to create force. This is shown by how much weight can be lifted during one effort. Okay, that first word again, ability. Ability. This is important in sports such as strike and field and football as well as routine activities such as lifting groceries or more furniture. And say groceries, such as lifting groceries or moving furniture. Or let's read this one more time. So, muscular strength is the ability of the muscle to create force. This is shown by how much weight can be lifted during one effort. This is important in sports such as track and field and football, as well as routine activities such as lifting groceries or moving furniture. Okay, we have one more now. I think you have recorded a response to my independent speaking practice test number 15. Now this is also good because I can continue to monitor your pronunciation as you do this, but also I can give you some feedback in terms of your grammar, your vocabulary, and also your organization and development of ideas. Free speaking topic number 57. 
In choosing between exercising and eating healthy foods, which one has a greater benefit in health? You say greater, not greater, but greater benefit. Helping you to live a longer, healthier life. For me, exercising and eating healthy foods both are important. Okay. I can say they complement each other. Instead of saying, I can say they complement, just say, they complement each other. Or you can say both are important because they complement each other. So if you use the word like because, that's going to connect the ideas together and show a causal or cause-effect relationship. If you have exercise but not eating... Uh... I would say instead of if you, I would say if I exercise. So stay focused on that first person singular point of view as you're answering this question. Sufficient food and healthy food, you will become weak. On the other hand, if you eat healthy food but do not have exercise, you will have all kinds of sickness. Mm -hmm. But give an example, so what kind of healthy food do you think would be important? Whole grains, wheat, vegetables, fruit. Exactly what do you mean by healthy food? So if you can give an example there, that's going to help to explain your ideas. Without exercise, you only eat alone. You will have all the problems of diabetes. Say so diabetes, diabetes. Heart problems. Heart, say so not hot, but heart, heart problems. All kinds of uh, arthritis, etc. No, I'm say anxieties, all kinds of anxieties, I think. You didn't really clearly pronounce that word. But if you don't, uh, if you have only exercise, it's not eating good food. You will be sickly very soon. How about you will become sickly very soon, I would say. But if I have to choose, I will say regular exercise is more important. Okay. Especially in my age, just 55. Guess what? I turned 50 this year, buddy, so you only got me by five years. I need food only for my maintenance, not for growth. But I do have to take regular exercise so that my blood pressure will be normal, okay. my diabetes will be normal, and my facility to move around will be also good. My facility, I don't think that's the right word. I would say so that my ability, so my ability to have full range of motion or flexibility would be good. So I think that's a word choice for you. A regular exercise. Not regular, but a regular exercise. Be careful about that R. Don't pronounce it with quite as much um, uh, force there. For that, eating healthy foods. Even in the poor countries, where they don't have that much healthy food, but they work hard, take regular exercise, and they live longer and healthier. Okay. So, how regular exercise is more important than eating healthy foods. So okay, what I would try to do here, you're, you're probably trying to do too much. I want you to keep this response around 60 seconds. So I think you can improve your organization a little bit perhaps by using more transition words to help show how your different ideas are connected. Now if you're not sure what I'm talking about, go to the speaking section of my course. I have a really good lesson on how you can make your speaking more organized. It's speaking lesson number seven. It'll talk about paragraph unity, and also to give you four examples of four cohesive devices you can use to organize your writing. All right, so you do have, you have some language use issues in addition to some pronunciation problems, right? So you have to be a little bit careful when you're speaking. Try to be as grammatically correct as you can, and of course, try to speak very clearly. And you're doing a good job. All right, thank you.